You know what that music means, it's time for Geek Beat, but we only got one geek today. We got Bert Lum joining us remotely this morning. Uh, Bert, you're talking about, first of all, some self-diagnostic web app for visitors to help them with the quarantine process and what's going on with quarantine? Yeah, hey guy, good morning. Yeah, so the uh, state um, wanted to, you know, figure out a way to really safeguard, you know, Hawaii through the, the, the visitors that are coming to Hawaii. So uh, initially what it, what it did was it started, um, you know, the, uh, the signing up on the, the Ag Declaration form. And of course, that's a hard copy form. So uh, what was developed was something called Safe Travels. And, and uh, what the traveler could do would be to go to safetravels.hawaii.gov and basically fill out the, um, the, the form and it would be a typical, like the typical form that you would fill out on the plane. Uh, so wh while you're, you know, on the plane, you can actually go ahead and fill this out. Uh, what it does is it captures your data. It captures, uh, you know, who you are, where you're staying, what flight you're coming on. And it also provides a means by which you can self-report uh, your condition. So during the 14-day quarantine uh, that you are now sort of obligated to, to um, uh, put yourself through, uh, you can sort of uh, do a daily update on how your condition is. So it's a it's a way to you know move away from the hard copy form and actually go to an online form, which is a lot easier to to maintain and manage. Yeah. Okay. Now the next thing you're talking about is something called Microsoft Teams tools for the enterprise to work remotely. I assume a lot of people are already onto this. Well, so. You know, in the in the corporate environment, uh, you know, a lot of um, businesses are pretty familiar with the whole Microsoft suite of products. You know, whether it's uh, Word or Excel, uh, or or even things like uh, SharePoint. And companies have also moved to something called uh, you know Office 365. And through uh, this front end sort of uh, aggregation of Microsoft Teams, what it does is it sort of creates this environment just like. Uh, using Slack, uh, which is kind of a, a um, aggregation point for online chatting. What, what Microsoft Teams provides you is a way to consolidate your interactions with some of your teammates. So you can have your chat be consolidated there. You can access emails, you can access files, you can actually do video just like you could do with Zoom. So it's all pretty much self-contained in this one environment. And what it um, also offers is that, you know, uh, companies are concerned about some of the security and some of the uh, uh, maybe confidential things that they might be talking about on, on the video conferencing. So uh, with uh, Microsoft Teams, it's a much more secure environment. Oh, and, okay. and Zoom is, is a really great product too. And, you know, it, uh, uh, it's really easy to use, but there have been some issues with some, um, you know, breaches of privacy. Right. So. Right. Uh, they're, they're, I mean, Zoom is working on it, but Microsoft's already pretty much set up. It's a pretty oh. um, a robust uh, environment, and it provides end-to-end uh, -end encryption, and it's a much more secure environment. So yeah, a lot of the corporations yeah, are using Microsoft Teams, and uh, even here in the state, we're using that as well. All right, so uh, what's, uh, what you're doing, at, what you're going to do about Hawaii Public Radio? What, what's, on, what's on tap for the radio show? Well, so today, um, uh, we're going to be actually talking about uh, something called the virtual office hours. So uh, a bunch of uh, uh, teachers in the DOE, they've put on virtual office hours. They're actually using a Google Meet environment. So we're going to be talking to them, uh, and that's going to be coming up uh, today on Hawaii Public Radio on uh, HPR 1, 88.1. All right, thanks a lot, Bert Lam. And uh, hopefully we can see Ian Kitajima again soon, too. We'll be right back with more sunrise.